Okay, these notes are mass to mole conversions. When converting from mass to moles, you use the mole ratio in the second step or the last set of boxes in the double picket fence. So basically with the mass to mole conversions, we're going from mass of one substance to mole of another substance. So we have to do it in two ways. Um, we can either use a two-step method, which basically involves two picket fences, or we can do a double picket fence, depending on which way you're more comfortable with. So let's look at the two-step method first. Okay, in the two-step method, you're going to convert the mass of the given substance to the moles by dividing by molar mass. Of course, in a picket fence. All of this has to be done in the picket fence or some sort of dimensional analysis where you are showing how units cancel. Um, if you don't like the picket fence and you want to use parentheses or another form of dimensional analysis, um, I can show that to you. In fact, my last slide here, I will show that to you. I'll show you how to do it without a picket fence. Okay, so our first example is how many moles of oxygen are needed to react with 125 moles of iron, or I mean grams of iron. Well, the first thing I'm doing is I'm putting what I have, okay, and then what I want. So that way I know I don't have to worry about this one at all. I'm only worried about this stuff. And since I have my mass, I'm going to put my molar mass here. Um, because remember, you have to turn mass into molar mass by mass into moles by dividing by molar mass. Okay, so step one, I'm going to have 125 grams of iron. Now, at this point in time, what we're doing in this unit, it is extremely important that you put number, unit, and substance in every single box. In fact, you have to do this dimensional analysis wise. So even if you're using parentheses. I better, every time I see a number down, I better see a unit and a substance with that unit. Otherwise, you get no points. Because if you write down 125 grams, I'm like, 125 grams of what? What are you starting with? What substance are you starting with? So you really, really, really have to this time. So let's put this here. So one mole of Fe. Okay, when we do the math, you get 2.238 moles of Fe. Now, some of you like to round about now. Do not round to 2.2 or even 2.24. You want to have at least four or five numbers down, okay? It makes the multiplication better. You get a closer number because if you're too far off, I mean, a tenth in some of these smaller substances, smaller amounts, is quite significant. So don't round here too soon. Go at least four numbers, the bare minimum four numbers. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move this up so I can do the second step. So step two, I'm going to take the 2.238 moles of Fe. By the way, there's a middle step here. If you wanted to add before I go on to the next step, you could have actually done the written down 125 divided by 55.85, then equals the 2.238 moles of Fe. Some people like to write that down. This step here is optional, but if it helps you, go ahead and write that down. But if not, then just remember, if it's on top, and then you got one number on top, one number on bottom, you're dividing. Okay, so back to this one. So here I use my, now I have to look at my um, equation. So Remember, your moles of your given substance from the equation go on bottom. So here I have four. So the equation tells me I have four moles of Fe. Okay, and then when I look up again, I have three moles of the O2. So I'm going to go ahead and put three moles of O2 here. Moles of Fe cancel out. Now, this is 2.23. Actually, let's use a different color with this one. I'll use the blue in the middle. Blue means it's optional here. Yeah, if I can erase all this. Okay, so we're going to put 2.238 times 3 divided by 4. As I said, this, this step is optional. So here and here are both optional steps. You don't have to do them. And then when you multiply this out, you get 1.68 moles of O2. Okay, now let's try the one-step method. 
Okay, now the one step method is basically using a double picket fence. Oh, by the way, at the end, don't forget I'm going to tell you how to do it dimensional analysis wise with parentheses. It's a little different way. Um, Ms. Fancher and Mr. Mefford usually teach it that way. Ms. Purdy and I use the picket fence. So whatever way helps you the best, you can do. As long as you show me the work and show me the units canceling, that's all I care about. Okay, so the double picket fence, basically we're going to start with, I do the same thing as I did before with um, the other one. I'm going to put the 125 grams here, 55.85 grams, and question mark moles here. Oops. Okay. So, now... Yeah, leave it like that at first. So we're going to start with 125 grams of Fe, and then we put the molar mass. So it's the same. It's the first step. You're basically combining those two picket fences that we did, and the uh, with the two-step method. Mole of, oops, not one. This is four moles of Fe. Three moles of O2. And there we have it. And we stop there because that's where we want. Cross out our units. Make sure they cross. They have to be diagonal to cross. And now we have 125 times 3 divided by 55.85 times 4. Once again, this step is optional. You do not have to show this, but you can. A lot of people like to. Me, I could care less. I usually don't, though. And then when you multiply that across, it is 375 divided by 223.4, which is 1 point, oops, 0.68 moles of O2. This is all, by the way, this step is also optional. They're both optional. Okay. So you get the same number. It's just, I think this is easier to me. That's my way of thinking, but some people like to do it in steps. That's fine too. Okay, the next one, we're gonna do it in not steps in a picket fence, but we're just gonna do it by dimensional analysis by using parentheses or by just the print. Here, I'll show you. Okay, um, I guess I should write the um, equation down. So the 4Fe plus 3O2 yields 2Fe203. Okay. So this one, we're just going to start with our 125 grams of Fe times. Now, remember, to get rid of something, it's got to be on the bottom. So we're going to put the 55.85 grams of Fe with one mole of Fe. So we're still using our conversion factor. I just think it might be easier to do it this way for some people. This is the way their brain thinks which is fine with me. And once again, we're going to multiply across the top. So we have 125 times 3, bottom 55.85 times 4, and we get 375 divided by 223.4, which equals 1.6, oh, 68 moles of O2. Okay? So you got three different methods there. However you want to show it as long or if you don't want to use the time signals, you want to use parentheses instead. That works too. I mean, there's so many different ways. As long as you're doing some sort of dimensional analysis that I can see. Now, if you want to use proportions, you got to clear that with me ahead of time because at this point in time, I would rather you didn't use proportions. It's going to screw everything up. So please do not use proportions. I guess I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.